Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Day, and today I'm going to be fitting an inline TDS meter. So here it is, I've ordered it from Gardner. Comes in the bag, got a little instruction manual, the meter, and uh, the inline coupler. So I thought this was going to be a nice easy job. I was just going to drop the coupler in there and uh, just pipe it through. Unfortunately I've done my hoses in 15mm and all these fittings are half inch and you can't get a 15mm to half inch coupler so I'm going to have to rerun the whole of this top line here. So I've disconnected the other end of my line and now I'm just going to unscrew it from the pump. that section so removed. Insert the probe into the fitting. When you look out, look through down the fitting, you've got to be able to see both the prongs side by side like that, not one behind the other. So I've got the half inch to tap fitting, which will go straight onto my sure flow pump, into a short piece of hose, and then onto the TDS meter coupler. When you cut this, make sure you cut it with a very sharp knife or a pipe cutter. Don't use a hacksaw because that'll leave a rough edge around the top. And you find when you push the fittings in together, uh, they tend to leak if it's been cut and it's not a nice clean cut around the end. I've put some fresh PTFE tape on my sure flow pump and then just wind the fitting on just to make sure. I don't think you need a lot, just to make sure you get a nice tight fit on it. And wind it right up. You don't want to over tighten it, but just give it a little nip up just to make sure it's tight. Make sure you don't over tighten it though, though, because there are only plastic threads. And just connect your last piece in. Push it right in until it stops. And there we are. Now, I've got a hose clip on there, but that's a 15mm hose clip, so it doesn't really fit very well. So uh, I might have to try and find some other way of holding that firm. So the TDS meter itself comes with uh, two little Velcro tabs, so I'm just going to pop them off and uh, mount it on the backboard there. All that's left to do now is turn the water on, make sure I've got no leaks and make sure the meter I works. hope you found that little video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, any comments you've got, please leave them below. Uh, if you would, please subscribe to my channel and if you just press the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, YouTube will let you know every time on. Uh, release a video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.